So guys, I want us to talk about this two important things. Number one is the, the, there's something interesting that was said by a uh, look uh, police, right? Police said they are about to or they are still going to arrest people, right? They are still going to arrest um other people. Uh, they are saying probably three more people could be arrested along those lines, right? Um if you're listening to that, and then I want you to listen to what the Mayowa family said. The Mayowa family says, no, 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 no. We hear that you arrested these five people. We hear that. And we don't dispute that. But what we are also saying is, it would have been nice for you to arrest the big fish. That's what Senzo Mayowa's mother said. Oh, no, 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 no. We know for a fact that people have bribed people in this case. People have paid people in this case. It can't be that you are only arresting these five people. And I guess the sentiment that are being echoed by the Mayewa family are the very same sentiment that have been echoed by a lot of people to say, okay, even if these five accused were the right people, but there is no evidence that they themselves are the mastermind. And what is also interesting is the following, is this thing that the police themselves do acknowledge that, yes, um, there is a mastermind. Yes, um, this was not a robbery gone wrong. In fact, police keep changing from one thing. The tomorrow they are saying a different story, which is something that I also want us to talk about. So I am going to ask you this question to say, when are we going to see the promise being fulfilled where they say we are going to arrest more people, right? When are we going to see that? Wait a minute, speaking about uh, like us waiting to see people being arrested, I'm still waiting. When are you going to subscribe, like the video, comment in the comment section below? When are you going to start watching my videos until the end? Watching the ads, sharing this. When are we going to, when are you going to start sharing these videos? When are you going to start, um, joining, becoming a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. Wait, when are you going to um, start donating to the channel, clicking the thanks button? Because, okay, well, in fact, you are asking a question, why, Bongani, do, you, do I have to do it? Well, two reasons. Number one, um, I'm giving you a proper quality here. Um, I do a lot of research. I do this hard working and I record. So it's part and parcel of saying thanks, Bongs. Continue motivation like the likes of Abu Anamo Happy and the rest. The list goes on. Yo, guys, they've been appreciating me. But also the second reason is that I want to buy material, guys. Yo, and the, uh, you know, the material that I want to buy, the camera alone, the proper quality the camera with proper quality it's costing around sixty four thousand. the camera alone and i need about three of them a minimum of three and then hey guys so the material that i needed is gonna cost me a minimum of two hundred thousand rand to a maximum of five hundred thousand rand so if you can just do what i've asked you you are actually helping me to get closer to my targets right let's get closer to what the police said we'll then get closer as well to what the Meiwa family have said here now let's start with the police right Cop says they are look they are closing on more more um sons of killers, including the mastermind. So, in other words, the police are saying we are going to arrest the mastermind anytime soon by now. There was an article in this one that was released by Mzilegas wa Africa. Um she he I think it, it, it is he because Mzilegas should be a guy from what I know, right? So let me call him him. Mzilikas of Africa uh, was with Ukarabo Ngope and Nkulule Konene. They released an article. This article was released on or uh, was published by uh, it was published on 1 November 2020. Right. It is very important for me to, 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 to look, it is very important of us to focus on the date, right? The reason that is important is because 
you then have to ask the question, the accountability question from the South African Police Service. So from November 2020 until now, it's we are closing 2023, the mastermind that they promised that they will arrest hasn't been arrested. But before you start complaining about them, let us get into the details of this article. Credit to IOL and Abomzeligas or Africa Karabo, Abonkululego. Credit to you guys. Thank you very much. Um, three more suspects, including some of the witness who were at the house, singer Kelly Kumalo's mother at the time of killing, um, local killing, uh, killing of the former Bafana Bafana and Orlando Pirate Captain Sanzo Meyewa six years ago, are, uh, like, are expected to be arrested soon. So, in this article, we get this sense that some of the people who were in the house will be arrested soon. So, I'm gonna get back to this information. This information is very crucial, right? There is something, somebody is playing hide and seek here. We've been waiting for this, but somebody, it's either uh, allegedly somebody has been bribed here because I don't get why these people haven't been arrested. There is a reason why I'm saying that there is some point, at some point, we got. There's an information that I'm going to compile and bring it together. This question that I'm asking here, it will make sense, but not now, right? Just wait, wait. 2024, I'm going to combine this information for you before the start of the trial, right? Uh, God willingly, I will do it for you. Now, let's continue again. Independent media can exclusively reveal police believe they are they are closing to the they are closing the net on the mastermind behind the Mayiwa murder, right? Mind you, this came after they have arrested the um, this came after they have arrested the five accused. Now let me let me repeat this one, right? Independent look, they say independent media can uh, wait a minute. Independent media can exclusively reveal police believe they are closing the net on the mastermind behind the murder of Senzo Meiwa, right? Remember I said to you guys, this was after they have arrested these five people. They still insist that they, they, they need to arrest other people, says police. There's a reason why I mentioned this. It is very important, very, very important, right? Mark the words. Five people have been arrested, but police still, still believe they are yet to arrest the mastermind. Pay attention to that. But let's continue. Five men appeared in Boxback Magistrate Court on Tuesday in connection with the slain soccer star death at his uh, then girlfriend, um, a girlfriend's mother house at Fosloras and Eguruleni. As their families say, they were, as their families said, uh, wait a minute, as their family says, they were puzzled by the allegation being leveled against the alleged hitman. So, do you see now? So, um, uh, look, um, uh, accused number one, accused number two, uh, look, look, bong, bong, and accused number three, uh, Carlos Gazlam Nube, accused number four, um, meh, Carlos Gazlam Nube, eh, what what my piece, it's accused number four, um, number five is Fiso Gushentuli. They have already been arrested. For the same thing of Senzo Meiwa. Here is the question before I proceed. Five people have been arrested then. Suspected to have participated in the case in the case in the murdering of Senzo Meiwa, right? Did you hear me say that? But now we only have five people. What happened to the mastermind? And do you understand the legal implication of this? Why can't we have these people from 2020? They have been closing the net on the mastermind. Until today, they are still closing the net on the mastermind. Guys, there's something fishy here. With that statement alone, there's something fishy that I want you guys to understand. From then until now, they haven't arrested the mastermind. 2020 till today, they are having arrested the mastermind. But let's continue. Mzigao Kuro Lasbia. Um, Bongani Fiso Gushentanzi, um, Toby Si Prince Mnube, Mtogoseni Zipozonke Mapisa, Fiso Gushle Nkani Ntuli have been charged with murder, uh, look, with, with murder, position of an unlo unlawful, unlawful ammunition, attempted murder, rubber with aggravating circumstances, right? 
uh, their court appearance this week was dramatic when the the man who appeared irritated initially refused to stand in the dock saying they have nothing to do with the man with the sons of may was dead one person who is believed to to to, to hold the key to unlock the investigation is expected to bro to look to be brought in for questioning by investigators in the next few days so that few days has come and gone because this was happening in 2020 till today the mastermind hasn't been arrested these are the same same questions that will make or that is posing a threat in the south african uh south african police image at large it's either somebody is not doing their work intentionally so or we are incapacitated to get this. I want to tell you this. South Africa is a country that has got the capacity to crack the case. Right? I don't believe that the South African Intelligence Department can fail dismally to crack this case. I believe South African Intelligence Department has got all the capacity to break this. South African Intelligence Department has cracked serious cases in this country. Right? How is it that they can they fail to crack such a case? That you to get what I'm trying to say. So I'm saying to you guys, allegedly, I don't believe that this is so, but I believe the opposite, that there are people intentionally not wanting to do what they're supposed to do, right? Not because they don't have the information, but they choose not to act on the information. But the in, the, the, the intelligence itself. It has the, pos the, the the capacity to break down each and every single case. That's my belief. I am convicted that nope, the South African Intelligence Department is capable. But let's continue then. Uh, they are saying more suspect implicated might be added on uh, November 27. But you know it came to pass, right? Because that was um, in 2020. Till today, that hasn't happened. Uh, might be added on the November 27 when the five men accu look, accused of killing Sansa Mayewa appeared in court. It will only depend on how soon the investigations moved to verify certain information. Then he said a statement. I can safely say that police are looking into three people who are potentially suspect in the in this case uh, to be arrested soon. A senior official with uh, local intimate knowledge of the case who asked not to be named as he is uh, as he isn't uh, authorized to speak to the media. So we were looking at three people, including people in the house that would have been arrested as the mastermind. Now, as the article goes down, you begin to realize, yeah, it, you begin to realize who is the mastermind just by following the article, right? Follow the the article of Africa, they were up to something here when they were writing this article. They really gathered their thoughts together. Um, okay, I'm mixing something, it's not the same article, but okay, let's continue. The director of public prosecution issue instruction for further investigation, further arrest cannot be ruled. Ngwenya said on yesterday. No, it's another article that I was reading. I'm now confusing what I read then versus what I am reading, what I'm giving you now. Now, uh we are still waiting for the mastermind to be arrested they are, they promised that they were going to arrest the mastermind now the family of sense of Mayiwa had said that no 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 we're here you guys have arrested five people we don't we we, we, we don't have a problem with that uh congratulations but we know for a fact that there is a big fish that has to be arrested. You think I'm joking? No, that's that's how the families phased the statement. They said, no, there is a big fish that needs to be arrested in the in connection to um, the death of Senzo Meiwa. Oh, you think I'm joking? Let's get into this one. But the family says, oh, so you arrested the five. They said, now we want the wealthy big fish. So they are saying now, we want... The one who has money, who's been financing all these things. We want that one. The one who has money to bribe other people. We want that one to be arrested. The family says. The family of the, the article, there was an article then that was released by, that was published on the 28th of October, 2020. Uh, who are the, um, I usually like to give credit to the journalist when they do uh, work, but I can't see the names of the people that were, uh, yeah, but give credit to IOL. 
the family of former Bafana Bafana and Orlando Pirate goalkeeper Senzo Meiwa hope the big fish behind the matter of will, the matter will be caught soon. The family revealed this after five people appeared on Tuesday in the Boxback Match Trade Court on October 26, 2014, in connection to the matter of Senzo Meiwa. The five suspect feel local. The first, the five suspect being Muzigao Kulelo Sbia, Bongani Ntanzi, Mtobisi, Mtobisi Mnube, Mtobisen, Mtobisen, Mto, Togoziseni, Mapisa, Fisogutle, Eoke, and Fisogutle, Nkanintuli have been charged with the murder, attempted murder, robbery with aggravating circumstances, position of unlicensed firearm, unlicensed firearm, and position of unlicensed ammunition. They were arrested on the local, on the sixth anniversary of Senzo Meyu was dead. On the morning, on the morning, five men appeared in court. Families sat in the lounge of their home in Umlazi, K section, Deben, watching the court proceeding on television right journalists were like hmm we see that but let's continue may was mad and look on them to be 40 uncles yabonga and other relatives said their hope has been restored when they saw the men in court. The family was initially confused by men refusal to stand in the dock, followed by a confusion uh, uh, their confusing statement. Right, the news that her five the news that the five men denied bail was welcome and that they will be more arrested. But before we get into what Siabonga Mia, uh, a family spokesperson, have said, have you noticed that in the beginning, the Mayua family actually um, sus look, supported um, this thing and they were, they were thinking, well, these are the right people. But I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to get into this one. What changed the Mayua family's mind in terms of them distancing themselves against these people and saying, nah, these are not the right people? where and wh what changed their mind right that is something that we are to interrogate because in the beginning the family was like okay yeah it's fine we welcome this it's okay we just want the big fish and all the stuff but now there was an article that was released which said that the family stands with the accused right they support the accused and the family had said nah these are not the right people give us the right people so I'm saying, with that being said, I mean, I'm saying that um, where and how and what changed the family's uh, position about the Mayiwa, about, about the, uh, the five accused arrested in connection to their son. It would be interesting to find out what changed their mind as we proceed. Okay, so let us then proceed to the following statement made by the family. Siabonga said, the, look, they were a wealthy big fish that has not been arrested and hope that they will soon be, they will soon face justice. He said, Usiabonga Mia uh, is a member of the Meiwa family, by the way. Uh, he had at some interviews look at that you can find on a YouTube channel Kasi FM. Uh, he says, as a family, we see that there is more to this. That that is why we asked after forum to help us. We saw that money was being used, but there was no progress in 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 the investigation. The family approached after forum to help so that they could they could be arrest Siabonga Mia Ushonjal. Then he says, Senzo Mayua was shot and killed in Fosloras Egurulen on the 26th of October uh, while he was at Kelly Komalo's place. So there are a number of questions that you and I ha have got to, that you, that you and I have got to, uh, what can I say? There are a number of, there are a number of, um, there are a number of, what, what, how do we call this thing? There are a number of questions that we need to have. The number one question is, uh, something that we've already covered to say is it because the intelligence department is failing to close on this big fish this mastermind here i i don't think so like i said i don't think so number two if you listen to the police and how they speak the police wants to or at some point the police were very keen to arrest some of the people who were in the house, if you've noticed the tone of the police, what have circumvented them from uh, initiating such? Right, it's not just the police, by the way, 
that have said that. Even the director of public prosecution, I'm gonna play a video, right? You will listen to Advocate Mshololo explaining that the director of public prosecution said that the people who were in the house in the house must be prosecuted, right, for defeating the ends of justice. Now you're listening to the police, the police are saying the mastermind will come uh, from the house. The mastermind was in the house. The mastermind is somebody in the house. And when you listen carefully to other statements that are simply saying the mastermind is none other than KK. Allegedly. You know why I'm saying that? Because if you're looking at the leaked document, it speaks about Sister KK look, borrowing money to somebody that was a lender, and that lender, they needed to get a statement from that lender. I have it here, right? And they needed to get a statement from that lender. It is uh, alleged that the money that, that this lender uh, was, look, gave to Sister KK, that money was used for the, the deleting of sins of Mehiwa. So if you are listening to things, like that you begin to realize to say wait a minute so the, the the police have maintained that so you're listening to the director of public prosecution they are saying hmm, these ones need to be prosecuted for defeating the ends of justice police on the other hand are saying we will arrest the mastermind but the mastermind will come from the house you know what i'm saying but listening to the sentiment of the police but that was said long time ago in 2020 they were they said we are going to arrest three people you know what i'm saying as the mastermind the question is even up to today that hasn't happened why that's the question that i want to i want to i want to i want to ask you and then you're looking at the Mayua family at the beginning they were very excited that no uh finally we have people that will account or that will be held accountable for the death of senzo Mayua. and then they quickly to track their statement they were like no 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 we stand with the family of the accused now possibly they might have information what information do they have guys from what i know and from what i've read who's accused number five he's been sentenced he's saving six life sentences from what I know, Fisogutlentuli, accused number five, is serving six life sentences. Now, the life sentences that he's serving, it has got to do with taking people's life. But even then, according to what we are listening, he's still not the mastermind, right? It's just an experienced in Kabi, right? But not a mastermind in all of this. So, the narrative that somehow was they wanted us to save us to, it is not sustained if you are listening carefully now to what is being said. Fisogu Tlentuli could have been a mastermind in terms of gathering these five people, but it's not necessarily a mastermind in terms of um, orchestrating the, 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 this thing and uh, coordinating every move here to say you guys must be here and all the stuff. There must be a person that would have coordinated that. And it makes sense to say, yeah, Pelavele Inkabis do not know where you are, how you behave and all the stuff. There must be somebody that teaches, that, that tips them as to say, you know what? He likes to be here at this time. He, when he drives, he usually, if he's got a firearm, usually the firearm is placed here. So if you happen to attack him, make sure that he doesn't reach to his firearm. And the firearm will be fine here. Oh, his movement is always known. Or like, I'll give, I'll give an example. There's this lady that was working at Peter Marisberg Court, right? That lady, she, look, there's a video that went out. The, the, the lady was a, a, look, a wife to a metropolis guy who was in the VIP protection unit. That lady, the day when she uh, showed the Ngabi as to how uh, he must hide and all the stuff and where all these things stays and all the stuff, he showed him that, okay, this look, sit here. Here, it's a blind spot. Nobody will see you. The, the dog, that's, it's only the dog that will distract you. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to make sure that we move this dog. I think he, she even killed the dog, if I'm not mistaken. Or she moved the dog from that position. I think she killed the dog. So that the, the dog was moved or killed. It was, was killed, I'm not sure. But then what she, the next thing that she did... 
she made sure that when they sleep, she doesn't close the door. And then she takes the Inkabi and show him uh, where they sleep and so show him to say, okay, this is, look, where we sleep, uh, but on that day, this is what I'm going to do. So you're going to get into the house, you'll find him on the bed. And then this same lady, there's a view, I'm talking about an, uh, something that is out there already. There's a video where this same lady, she is showing this guy to say, okay, these are type of bullets that we have in the house these are this is his firearm and all the stuff this is where it stays you know what i'm saying so you'll find it in this area right so that guy had all that information though is is though this, the guy is in hobby but the bottom line is that the guy had all the necessary information and who gives the guy all the necessary information it's somebody from the house so that's how you you will see it so the guy then was arrested he, he later on confessed after realizing that the person whom he has taken his life is actually a, a, a relative they share a same same name or i don't know not close family but something around that so after that the guy is then arrested look at this the guy is charged notice this the guy is experienced uh, despite the fact that the guy is experienced in the job of being in Kabi, he is charged with the actual um matter of the uh, of the guy but not as the mastermind so do you see the distinction there then when the lady was arrested she was arrested as the mastermind so she will be charged number one defeating the ends of justice right and number two, the actual, she is still going to be charged for the actual murder of the guy. And I forgot the other charges as well, right? The, there's going to be more charges. So the mastermind in the, in the Meiwa case, then you can understand it from this angle that you can't say Unduli is going to be the mastermind because Unduli did not understand the movement of Senzo Meiwa. Unduli did not, even if these five accused are to be charged as the right people in this whole case but Nduli did not know where to find Senzo Meiwa, did not know how Senzo Meiwa moves, did not even understand the strength of Senzo Meiwa. He did not know all of that. There must be somebody from the house who knew that Senzo Meiwa will arrive at this time, right? And when he when he arrived, the, pe the, the person, even if they didn't know Senzo Meiwa, right, they must have they must have had a picture of Senzo Meiwa. So when they get into the house, they know exactly who they are looking for and they will do everything exactly what they need to do right that is how inkabi works now speaking about how inkabi works um the picture that is being painted about these five accused the the, the first narrative is that these are inkabis right now we are saying okay if these are inkabis it means to, to those that don't know the term, those who are outside South Africa, right? Inka Inkabi, right? It's a Zulu name, but basically, um, it's we're just saying in English a hitman. Now, it, now, we because in, in South Africa we know we have this thing of hitmen and all the stuff. We know how they work, right? Usually, these guys they will get into like Mina. I always say I've seen it with my own naked eyes when they were there to take a taxi for a poor boss they got there there were some people because they knew who who were they look who they were looking for they get there they pa 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 seven times to this uh taxi boss seven times or what but yeah yo they they were emptying the the, the entire cartridge there but not actually entire but just an example so after that they leave now, in this case, these people who are supposedly in Corbis, they get there, they are fighting with the entire family. They don't know who they're looking for and all the stuff. That is why I'm saying then, mm, hey, the narrative is not sustained here. There's something that does not make sense here that needs to be made. That Somebody needs to explain something to us so that we can make sense of everything that is happening. Otherwise... There's something that does not make sense about this whole thing, Gatsen Zomeiwa. And look, in terms of these five men being the accused in the case of Senzo Zomeiwa, being the hitman and all the stuff. Because if you're looking at accused number five, for instance, and an experienced in Kabi, he wouldn't have just gotten into that house and uh, act the way he did. So we just need to find out there's something that hasn't been explained. Even if you are saying 
these five people were together planning this whole thing we get that but then where were they uh, as uzungu has tried to link them together but he failed this money because we don't believe what he said he's just lying we can't understand how they participated because there's no evidence that says the two men walk into the house and as a result of these two men walking into the house the other three people probably were sitting on the gateway uh, with a look, getaway vehicle from the testimony given by these people here, it doesn't make sense, right? Everything that they've said, it doesn't make sense. We don't understand how these all people come together into this whole thing, right? So um, it's gonna be very, it's gonna be a very difficult journey for the state to climb, proving these people that they collaborated in this, into this whole thing. And then when you arrest the mastermind, you must then be able to link them all very well together. But right now, even with the five accused, it's still just, you know, I don't know if you see what, where, where we're going with this, but it still doesn't, a lot of things doesn't make sense. We hear, but a lot of things doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up as to how do you make sure, like beyond reasonable doubt, prove that these five people were working together in the accomplishment of this. Forget what Zungu, Zungu was trying to do exactly that, but he failed because he's a liar and the truth is not found in that guy that guy he's a professional liar i don't care what he think about me i don't care whether he hate me or not but zungu is a liar he tried but he's a liar we can't believe what he said moving right along um as we travel this uh guys In, in your own words, say to those that, because I've seen, there are those that believe that these five accused are the right people. Put them together. Don't speculate. But show me something that is tangible, that makes a lot of sense. And say to me, this is what accused number one did in this case. This, is, this was his participation. This is what, uh, that is B, right? Musica be. This is... This is his participation in this case. Um, proved again, uh, 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 according to accused number two, this is what accused number two, this is how he participated. Accused number three, no, but this is his participation. Accused number, 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 number four, um, my piece, uh, this is his participation. Accused number five, um, this is his participation. And this is why they are look whatever they look they, they they are they are arrested together because from the evidence that we have so far it doesn't make sense right and then if you can successfully link them together as a group then you can successfully link the mastermind because there is a problem if you rush to arrest the mastermind while you can you can confidently link these five accused and stipulate their participation and make it as clear as possible and prove it beyond reasonable doubt then you're going to have a problem you're going to arrest the so-called mastermind into this thing whole into this whole thing but the mastermind is going to use the very same state evidence to get away with everything if, if you don't understand what i'm saying you can arrest the mastermind the mastermind will just take the evidence presented by the state and say based on the evidence you can't even prove that these people were working together in the accomplishment of this right so if you cannot prove that they work together why are you bringing me into the picture right i don't know if you see what i'm saying the mastermind is most likely to get away with a lot of things as long as the state they don't put their house together do you understand what i'm trying to say the mastermind will get away with this whole thing if you don't see what i'm saying in the, the mastermind will get it will get away easily 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 it is like somebody is working and making sure that they are weakening this case for the sake of the mastermind. They are creating more loopholes for the sake of the mastermind. So you must understand what before you can call for the mastermind, if you are going to link him with these five accused, I, I am telling you, it's going to be difficult. That mastermind will walk away. So put it in your own words. Get onto the comment section below. I want you to put it in your own words and prove to me that this is the mastermind and how the mastermind is linked to this whole thing. Because the police doesn't believe that these five people are the actual mastermind. They believe that they are as an instrument to carry out the mission, but they are not the mastermind. So put it with your in your own words. 
put everything together. I want to know from you. I will be eager to see your comments. And you know what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to link this video where Advocate Mshololo was speaking about the fact that the state, the, 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 not the state, but the, the, public, the Department of Public Prosecutions, uh, they, they, they said that these people who were in the house must be arrested. So I'm going to play that video. So I will see you guys on the next video. But before you leave this video, make sure that you watch the next upcoming videos. South Fowdy. Had decided that the following people, my lord, be charged, which is number one, Longwe Twala, number two, Kelly Kumalo, number three, Gladness Kumalo, number four, Zandi Kumalo, number five, Dumelo Mazala, number six, Mtogo Zisitwala, number seven, accused, accused seven, it's Maggie Peer, my lord. On two counts, my lord, count number one, the DPP has decided that they must, they must be charged on the count of murder in that upon or about the 26th day of October 2014 in Etonia Boxbeck, in the sub-district of Eguruleni, the accused whose name I've just read into the record, my lord, who acted as perpetrators or accomplices or accessory after the fact, unlawfully and intentionally killed Senzo Meiwa, an other person, by shooting him. And count number two, my lord, is defeating the ends of justice. In that, on or about the date and at or near the place mentioned in count one, the accused did unlawfully and with intent defeat or obstruct the cause of justice, commit an act to wit accused number one to six, they hatched a plan and informed the police that they were robbed at gunpoint by unknown persons. Accused seven, she claimed the crime scene prior to the arrival of the police which acts defeated or obstructed the administration of justice. Mr. Madlala, there is a letter, my lord, in terms of uh, Exhibit Q, okay. Exhibit Q, mm -hmm. from the Director of Public Prosecutions in Gauteng, mm -hmm. referring to the Force Loras Case 375, stroke one of 2019. That letter confirms the docket that was opened against you as well as all other people who were inside the house. Um didn't say Saga or what you call it or get every way. Matolana Nawe, Nabana Banda with the corner and Lini, um, a camera we are a DPP Houten, ye cast number six seven five zero one, year twenty nineteen. Yes, I hear, I hear that. This docket, this letter confirms that and also. In paragraph three of this letter, I'm going to read that paragraph three. You can also have a look at uh, that paragraph if you can be able to see paragraph three. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but I will also read it. It says, in light of the fact that decisions in Force Loras Case 375 Stroke 1 2019 depends on the credibility findings by the trial court in the current trying trial involving Force Loras Case 636 Stroke 10 Stroke 2014, I have therefore 
decided that the decision in Force Loras Case 375 stroke 1 2019 will be made at the conclusion of the concurrent trial. Now, I cannot wait uh, for that particular docket. Okay, but, but you understand what is said there? Yes. In other words, it says the Director of Public Prosecution has not declined to prosecute yes, yet, to prosecute you in particular yet, is still waiting. Quite clearly, I'm waiting for that. Okay. 